Now what will it be? Death or exile? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another installment of the Film Exiles podcast. I am your host Manu, and uh, I'm just going. I'm just here to give you guys a quick review of At Astra, starring Brad Pitt, directed by James Gray. Um, I was lucky enough to see the movie a couple of days ago, and I've been thinking on it. And I can honestly say that this is a very, very top-notch movie, and uh, I'm 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 ready to recommend it to everybody who's uh, intri- who. Who found the trailers interesting, or even if you were on the fence of it, on it, I think you guys should definitely give this movie a chance. Um, uh, Ad Astra is uh, the story of uh, an astronaut played by Brad Pitt. Um, when the movie begins, Earth is uh, being hit by electrical surges that are coming from the far reaches of space. Um, these surges carry the same uh, the same energy output as uh, a ship that was flown out by Brad Pitt's father. Um, uh, 30 years ago to study the far reaches of space and to find intelligent life. Now it seems that that ship has been malfunctioning and may be the cause of these surges. So um, the the space command asks Brad Pitt to go out and find the ship and hopefully try to stop whatever is causing these surges from taking place. So um, uh, the movie is directed by James Gray and he does an incredible job. Uh, right from the beginning, we get some beautiful uh, imagery of space and Earth. And um, uh, over the course of the movie, we travel outside of Earth and we get to see different planets. We go to the moon, we go to Mars, and uh, every planet has a very distinctive look. And they, everything looks beautiful, everything looks gorgeous. Uh, I got the chance to see it in IMAX, and I would recommend that you do so as well. Uh, because it really takes uh, advantage of the entire screen to to make you feel like you are, that you have left Earth, that you are on this journey with uh, with the astronauts. And um, what I found great about this film is it's centered around Brad Pitt, and he does an incredible job. Um, the movie is as much a uh, deep exploration into space as it is a deep exploration into the character that Brad Pitt portrays. Um, it's more about him dealing with um, with um, with his past, with his youth, and uh, with uh, his relationship with his father, as much as it is trying to save the world, quote unquote. Uh, and I think that the film balances both elements very well. I do feel that um, I do feel that uh, we lose a, that uh, they could have done a better job of showing us how um, how Earth was affected so badly by uh, by the surges. Uh, I think that that would have been a great way of like um, inc- uh, increasing the stakes and really making us see how how important this was. But um, aside from that, I have very few complaints. I think that the score and the music is fantastic. I think that the performances are great. There's a lot of great quality actors here. Is Brad Pitt leads leads the cast, but you also have Donald Sunderland. Uh, you have um, you have uh, Donald Sunderland, um, Ruth Nega. Uh, and, and plenty of other great actors. Liv Tyler is also really solid in this movie. Uh, and Tommy Lee Jones is part of the proceedings as well. And I really think that um, uh, that they've done a great job of casting these actors right. And everybody brings uh, great performances on screen to, to make this movie feel really much richer than it could if uh, it were anybody else. Um, uh, what else? Uh, final thoughts. Um, we're going. We're definitely going to do a, a more deep dive look into this movie with some of the others, and I'm really looking forward to talking more about it. But all in all, Ad Astra is a solid, fantastic film. Um, the visuals are great. The performances are great. The music is fantastic, and it's a movie that I still that I'm still thinking about today, uh, two days after seeing it. Uh, I think that the themes are very rich, uh, and there's so much to, to think about, and and because. It's not just about going into space, but it's about how uh, people interact with each other and how sometimes those interactions can cause deep lasting uh, effects that we don't even fully realize all the time. So my, I tip my hat off to everybody that was involved in the production and I really think that this movie does deserve your support. 
So um, thank you all, <laughs> and um, we'll we'll catch you back on the network soon. We got a, a bunch of great things coming along in the in the weeks to come. So please stick around, uh, and thank you very much. Uh, stay exiled.